Hey Toy Grubbers, welcome back. So today we will make a live Instagram effect in Photoshop, like this image right here. Just like usual, before we start, I'll drop that intro. Okay, first you need to take a picture of your figure. You can use any figures. Here I showed a mask of Spider-Man and he's holding a phone. Second, you need to download the template first from the link in the description. Or you can google it. Just type Instagram live mockup PSD. And you will find it in this first website. Well, just follow the instruction there. Just click the link. You can just download the file, just click here and it will be available in your download folder. Extract the file here, then double click to open it in Photoshop. This template is free and easy to customize. Thanks to this awesome person named Eugenia Clara for this free Instagram live template. Here you can just disable the top layer to see the template. And you can customize each folder here the text and the picture as well. So in this profile folder, I will put a Spider-Man's photo as a profile pic. Oh, before we start, you need to collect the other photo just for the profile picture of people on the internet. Just drag it to Photoshop and make it smaller. Let's take a look at these layers. Actually, you can copy paste your image to this layer. I'm just gonna delete it. Make sure the Spider-Man picture layer is above the circle frame layer. Place it above the circle frame right here. I'm gonna use free transform to make the Spider-Man picture smaller to match the frame size. And then right click on the photo layer and choose create clipping mask. And it automatically remove any of the Spider-Man pic outside the circle frame. To change the username, simply click this text layer and double click on the username above here and I will change it to Spider-Man or you can change it to whatever you want depends on your character let's move to another folder well you can check which one to change by clicking this eye icon let's try to change this fever count I will change how many people will view this story by repeating the step that I told you before which is just select the text layer and double click on it. I will change it to 250,000. Now let's change some of the viewers comment and also the profile pic as well. Look at the layer and try to do the previous step that I told you. Basically the process will be the same all over to the end. So be creative. Try to put some funny comments or maybe unique comments to make the picture look more interesting. That's just my tips. Let's move to another folder down here. I'm gonna change the picture into Tony Stark photo. Just repeat the usual step. Just import the Tony Stark picture. Place it on the circle frame right here and right click then choose create clipping mask I'm gonna resize the pic because it's too close up for a profile pic just use free transform press ctrl 3 or command T and make it smaller just press enter if you're done change the username again like in the previous tab also you can change the comment too but I will keep it this way Basically, it's all the same to the end. You just need to know the position and where you should place all these pics and also what comments that you will type in this template. Now I'm gonna make the process a little bit faster to save your time since the process will be the same. After you finish editing all comments, 
go to the bottom layer, create a new layer above it, press shift I to open fill, change the content to black, it will change the whole background layer to full black color. And if you're done, go to file, export, quick export as PNG, anyway you can save it as JPEG also if you want it. After you export the file, open your figures photo, drag this effect that you've been edited to into Photoshop. I'm gonna make it smaller by holding shift and drag the edge. And place it here. First, I'm gonna change the blending mode to screen. Well, that's why I changed the background of the first image to black. I'm gonna move it and resize it to my liking. Press Command T or Control T to open free transform. And I'm gonna distort to change the perspective a bit. It's optional by the way. After finish adjusting, just press enter if you're done. Now I'm gonna duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl J or Command J. As you can see here, the image looks more glowing now. We're gonna select the bottom layer here and head to adjustment tab. Click on this brightness and contrast. I will reduce the brightness of the original image and it will make the IG Life effect looks clearer. I also increase the contrast a little bit. You can press this eye icon to see whether it's the glow is enough. I'm reducing the opacity a little bit for the duplicated layer here. Now I will paint a red soft brush on this life icon. Create new layer, select the brush tool, change the foreground color to faded red. Right click, set the brush size, depends on your liking. Now. Click here and change the blending mode to overlay. I want to make a reflection of the life icon glow. And move it a bit to the right in here. Now I create new layer again for another glow effect. But now change the foreground color to white. And brush all over the IG life interface. Change the blending mode to overlay again. Like usual, adjust your opacity and fill. Make sure it's not overexposed. And also select this duplicated layer, we're gonna make it blurry, go to filter, blur, gaussian blur, and I will set the radius to 90 pixels. Play the opacity again to match your liking. Now select the brightness and contrast layer down here, and click on the layer mask which is this white canvas, try to paint it with black brush color. I'm gonna paint it around the face cause it will turn the face brightness again. Select the bottom layer down here, create new layer. I will paint it black to the surrounding to make it darker. So the live IG interface will pop out. Change the blending mode to multiply and reduce the opacity and fill for this layer. You can always adjust the opacity and fill to match your own preference. You can also create a layer mask for this layer and paint it with black brush to reduce the darkness surrounding the figure. I also make a little bit adjustment for some of this layer, like adding some dark in the IG interface through this layer above the figures layer and go to top layer and create layer I want to make some soft glow effect for the final touch you don't have to follow this just make sure your photo match the effect try to paint it around the IG effect with white color brush and change the blending mode to screen then you can play with the opacity and fill And voila, it's all done. Here are before and after photo. Okay guys, I think that's all right. Thank you for always watching this video. Don't forget to click all the buttons, like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification. See you in the next one. Bye.